Good morning, friends. It's Friday, April 17th, and our video yesterday abruptly stopped, and I have no idea why. So I didn't get to give you the animal dotums that were relative to the reading. I put the cards back out. So this was the east position of Whirling Rainbow, and very quickly that's um, a spirit entity that dances so quickly, the beads and the energy of its aura fly off as it spins and spins and it spreads its love and healing and crystals and beads around the world. Its message is um, incorporating us into unity and wholeness and taking this time with the pandemic to do that for oneself. In being whole in one's self, you relax and your good vibes spread to others. In the south, we had East Shield from the Sacred Path deck. And this is about using this time wisely for illumination and clarity, uh, specifically with respect to your own walk and growth. When this time is over a pandemic, we will not be the same people. Our country will not be the same, our economy, our government, our politics, our jobs, whatever. Uh, our families won't be the same. We have to step it up. So, the next card was powwow in the west position. And this is letting us know that we will have the opportunity for both sharing, good meals, get-togethers, coming together, in the summer and to recognize the quickening which is an old spiritualist term as well from my days as a spiritualist minister um, the quickening refers to an acceleration of our own personal vibration call it kundalini uh, call it um, advancement psycho spiritual advancement whatever it is um, please know that we will all all be impacted by the wave of this time in the north position, we have the Sundance card. And the Sundance lets us know that the overarching issue is self-sacrifice. And by sacrificing our needs right now and staying isolated and working collectively, our self-sacrifice is the overarching message here. That in doing so, the personal card, which is this one sitting in the west um, or it is normally a west card it's sitting actually in the middle of the wheel is called stillness and it was the hand squeezing the cloud trying to create rain it is not for us to try to create anything we are to re relinquish our control so I had given you those cards yesterday and I didn't get a chance to share with you the dotum cards also by Jamie Sams and David Carson. Um, the first card that came up, the first dotum, is opossums. This card speaks, the overarching idea is how to strategize correctly. If we need to withdraw because our partners or our kids are driving us crazy, then like the opossum, when threatened, plays dead. We know this, but it's really about, if you have to withdraw and be like the hermit in the tarot, do so. Do so and use this time to develop the illumination and clarity that you need. So the opossum is a very old, old, old animal. One of the only, if, if not the only, marsupial that exists in North America. It's good medicine. It's not a scary animal. It's a time to look at how we strategize coming through. It's also in reference to listening woman. I spoke yesterday of us being right now in the fourth quarter of Looks Far Woman's moon cycle. And she is the seer, the creator of the future. So what we manifest 
is coming from our thoughts in every moment of every day. So if you are thinking worried thoughts, if you're anxious, if you're expressing frustration, if you're short-tempered because of the forced um, isolation with family, this is the time to shift that and be in a place of gratitude. Gratitude that we have this time and we have uh, responsive resources around us for the most part. We're going to come out of this unscathed. So the strategy, what we give, we get back. The universe is a manifester. It reflects back what we give out. If we snark and carry on and uh, tear down government leaders and this sort of thing, that doesn't reflect on them. It reflects on us and tears down our vibe. So the universe responds. It's not punishing us. What we give out, we get back. So be it as the opossum and strategize. The second animal has come up several times in the last five weeks. This is badger. Badgers are considered to be aggressive. You don't back the badger into the corner because it will come out all teeth and claws. But badger medicine in the strategic aspect of this is about being assertive. Don't be aggressive with others or the situation or the clerk in the store because you're tired of standing in the line. Be assertive with what needs to be healed within you. Go after those strategies. Eat good food. Spend time baking. Spend time cooking. Do the things meditation, yoga, learn. There are resources on uh, the internet that we can access right now that will help. So badger medicine is really important. The final totem is frog. Frog is about being able to move between water and land and, and back again. And I paraphrase an old uh, warning from indigenous elders of the past that when the last frog dies, humans are um, in deep trouble. Frog medicine reminds us to be adaptable and resilient and do that which we need to do um, a little bit differently than badger and a little bit differently than possum. But frog medicine is a, a powerful dotum. And know that it also speaks to the fact that Turtle Mother is healing in her waters. The air is healing. Father Sky is healing of pollution. So remember that in this time of fourth quarter of Looks for Our Woman, we need to be visioning not about what we fear, no catastrophizing what might happen if, if, if. We are to look at the world in, in a beautiful way and project the good into the future. That which we reap, or so rather, we shall also reap. So I ask you to um, think, spend time, journal, meditate, pray. Remember that prayer is talking to the Creator and meditation is receiving the answer. So think of it in terms of establishing a dialogue through the dotums, through the beings in the reading, and give yourself a chance as we come into the time of listening woman. Listen to what your heart wants. Fear and faith cannot exist in the same continuum. Think of the beautiful world that we can create. So thank you, friends, for allowing me to clarify the last few minutes of the missing portion of yesterday's video. If you like these videos, please subscribe and hit the bell on the YouTube channel and you'll automatically um, get a notification from YouTube that we've posted some of the other teachings. If you have questions, please follow the link, email us at the um, email address at the end of this video and I will address questions. Please know that Wolf Island Métis Charitable Association is covering the costs for people who are 
needing counseling and so it's free. Please just contact us and we'll set up a, a video time to chat. So thank you, miigwech, yell in, and have a wonderful, safe weekend.